Hey guys, I just finished Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. Maniscalco? I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but oh my god, this book is freaking amazing. I love it so much. Five out of five stars. I'm in love with this book. I love it more than the first book. I love this book book so much like I really want to pick up the third book so bad the ending just like I feel like the seventh the second half of the book is so good and I love it so much like, the first half is a little bit slow but but like the second half just picks up and it's so good and I seriously just oh man I wish I could just like forget everything I just read and reread it and get that feeling again oh my god it was so good I I love this book. It's just mm, best book so far of 2018. This is I've read five books so far, and this is the best one so far. And then I don't know. Oh my god, this book is just so good. I'm just gonna go on with the rest of the review. There's nothing else to say. It's so good. <laughs> Jessica and today I'm here with Danielle Hi. and we are going to be reviewing Hunting Prince Dracula by um, Kiri Maniscalco. Yeah. Yes. Um, this book is freaking amazing. It's really good. I love it so much. It's very good. Oh, it's it's so a sequel good. to Hunting Prince Dracula. Yes. And same characters, just go into a different location and a different kind of thing to stalk and hunt and, and a new mystery. And it's so fantastic. It's so good. It's really good. Yes. It's really, really good. Five out of five stars. Loved it so much. Yeah, so that's kind of the, all the non spoiler things to say. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's the same vibes as the first book. Mm -hmm. I um, personally like this book better than the first one. I'm um, not really? saying that the first one's bad, but the first one's fantastic, but I just love this book more. I like certain parts of this book better, but the first one... I, I mean, I do love the first one. Yeah. Though, really. It's just, I, I like this There book. are certain parts of this book that I like better, like her and Thomas's relationship. How it progresses friendship. and grows. Yes. And it's beautiful. And, um... That, yeah, honestly, this was a good one. Mm -hmm. And I like how they still are doing, um, or how the author is still doing um, pictures at the beginning of each chapter. She yes. still does that. Mm -hmm. She still does the date. She still does where all of this is happening, which I really liked. Because it helped, at least, it helped me get into, kind of immerse myself into the story more. Because I could imagine where they were. Um, I think I googled a picture. I, I like googled the castle they're at. Castle Bran, I think it is. And I just like was looking at the interior and exterior of it so I could just like really Visualize picture it. it. Yeah. Alright, so I think we're gonna get into spoilers now. Yes. Yes, so then we can just talk about everything. Okay, so spoilers. She and Thomas are engaged. <laughs> Uh, Wait, no, no, they're not. They're basically He's engaged. courting her now. Like, okay, same to so, same. So, their, their relationship's gone to friendship to actual courting. And they've then kissed. They've kissed, A like, lot. multiple times. Like, she's, like, got onto his lap. Yes. Which was They, beautiful. like, sneak into corners and parties. Well, that's only happened once, but then yeah, she, but like, still. she got pants. And it, it, oh it yeah, he sauce. loved that. He loves the pants. He loved he that. He painted her that. a picture. I don't know. I'm just happy that she finally let her guard down enough to let him in. Yeah. And that he. Though I was like, I was a little pissed with Thomas when he pretended to be dead, and she was like. So upset about it. I was, and then and then he wakes up, and I'm like, Thomas, you mother trucker, that is not how you go about apologizing to someone for, for like kind of talking to a teacher behind their back about something, and then that teacher calling you out on it. And because you're That's, a woman, because you're a woman, like, oh, that Thomas. was the worst thing that he did. Oh, I don't know why so he did that. Upset. Because he didn't want her to like. He wanted to make sure she was okay. And the thing was, like, he he just he just went around her. My mom know? read this book too, and she got super frustrated on that part. I was so frustrated with him. Just because, 
what it's one it's not his place yeah it isn't it's her uh, place like he needs to be there to help her when she asks for help not to be helping her without her permission exactly yeah i just like how progressive the characters are yeah and how even though thomas does have his flaws and how he sometimes does kind of fall back into the time period that they live in, he is progressive with the way that he treats Yeah. I mean, like, Audrey. it's not like he does it to spite her. He does it because he cares about exactly. her. Exactly. He has good intentions. Yeah, yeah. And she's just like, look, I thought you were my equal and you're not treating me that way. And I, she but is... I loved it when she just went off on him. Oh, I, I was like, yes, you go, girl. You do that. I know. Mm. And also, um, in this book, you see some correspondence between her and Liza. And then Liza hints to the next book that she's Houdini. seen Houdini. Yeah. Oh, so I think I don't know if Liza's gonna be on the book. I don't think she I is. Think... That would be fun. Yeah, that's good. If she was like one of the ones in danger, mm -hmm. but she did hint. She was like, "I'm seeing someone." He calls himself Houdini. Like, I like their correspondence with each and then, other. Like, I he's like at Liza's a circus character. and like he escapes everything. I'm like, it's Houdini. Yeah, I like Liza's character a lot. I love her character so much, and I like it's good that that um, Audrey Rose has that female same like age. friend. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's the same age as her because yeah. Thomas is great. Thomas is and her great. uncle is great, yeah. but she needs a girlfriend. Yes. And then she almost had that with, what's her face that ended up being... Anastasia. Anastasia, yeah. She kind of had that with Anastasia. She's and the, the vampire. And then oh. Anastasia, uh, Anastasia just ruined it by being the person that was killing everyone. She's like, a vampire. <laughs> she's not, she's a, not vampire. a vampire. There's no actual vampires. I like how this book kind of teeters on, like, is there magic in this world or is there not magic? Because that was kind of hinted at a little bit, too, in the first book with the whole Frankenstein aspect yeah. of it at the, at the like end. Like, bringing them all back to Yeah, life. and, um, so I like how it teeters on the, like, is it magic or is it not mm -hmm. magic? I like how it used the Romanian legends, too. Like, yeah. Like, very, um, were, like, super important to the plot of the yeah. story. And I I just learned a lot while reading this book. Because mm -hmm. I looked you... stuff up, too, and it was all... Yeah. Like, how did you feel about the whole secret society thing? I just... I, I was I a was little... A, it was, like, smart as a distraction. Yeah. To be, like, to, like, get us off the path of who it actually was. But I didn't think it was necessary to the plot of the story. I mean, I was, like, a little, like, mm, really? Like... I thought I, it was dumb. I, yeah, I thought it was a little dumb as well. I thought it was just an excuse. Or just I mean, kind of just extra. It yeah. didn't need to be there. I didn't think it was necessary. Yeah, it was just, like, another sprinkle of, like, look how important Thomas's family is. And I was like, mm, it didn't really need to be there. I was surprised when I found out he was Prince Dracula. Oh, I knew it. Heir. I knew it. When the, when the teacher was all, like, talking about the heir of Dracula, and then she was looking at the, prin the, the prince, and then the teacher was looking at Thomas, I was like, oh, Thomas is the, I the never actual that. heir. I, no, I, I didn't catch that. that. I never, ever caught that. I, I always thought it was Nikolai. No, I never thought it was Nikolai. I feel bad for him. I know, yeah, and he... Like he was, he was a jerk though to Audrey Rose, and then, and then he did apologize. But I get why he was a jerk because he knew who Thomas was. Yeah, and their families were enemies. Enemies. Yeah. I think my favorite part of this book, besides the romance aspect of like with Audrey Rose and Thomas, was the climax. Was them going through those catacombs under the castle, and then having to go through all those booby traps mm -hmm. and disable them, and then um, the whole like bone church thing and I the thought, tub of blood oh that part was so good i thought it was really um a good kind of um distraction for the reader to kill anastasia yeah yeah because i thought she was dead i was like oh shit she's dead who I, I didn't, I didn't it know was it was her. someone else her face was yeah. mauled so bad that mm -hmm. they didn't because it know. was like with stocking jack the ripper i knew it was her brother like, there was no one else that could have been but her brother. Yeah, I thought it was her dad or her brother. And then, with this book, I had no clue who it was. I didn't know who it was. Yeah. I had guesses, but no, I was not confident in any of my yeah. guesses. Oh. And none of my guesses were her. Yeah. Me neither. Like, she she played Audrey Rose so good. Yeah. She played all of us so good. And I love how they she <sighs> made the story. Because I she, thought she was so cute and, like, sassy. And I was like, yes, I love her. She was a sociopath. Her. I feel bad for her uncle, even though, um... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, even though like, even though he was horrible, he was horrible to Audrey. Um, Rose. but he didn't deserve. Not it. even Audrey Rose, but Thomas. He was horrible to Thomas too. He was horrible to everyone. Yeah, except for Nikolai. 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 But yeah. I'm also glad that we met Thomas's sister and we learned more about her. I love his sister. I love his sister. And her relationship. Oh my gosh, oh, yes. Make it gay, yes. Make it gay. Always makes it better. Mm -hmm. I was like, gonna say, I was like, I'm just glad she made it I like gay. how Audrey Rose is a little put back by it, but she's like not offended no, by it. No, I love like, that. She's a little surprised by it, and then she's like, oh cool, you guys love each other, that's great. I know, I, I just love how progressive these characters are. I know, especially how... for the time period. But they also stay slightly true to the time period, how she yeah. was just caught off guard by it, but mm -hmm. she was like, okay with it and how Thomas kind of falls back into how men of that time usually acted yeah. every so often and I don't know I it didn't seem like she was trying too hard to make them too like modern yeah okay. also it wasn't she didn't like force it on the readers either she didn't yeah. make it like it this felt huge very plot natural. Point. it was just kind of just like oh yeah this happened but it's not like a huge part of the and story. I love their relationship they're so cute together what, what's what are their names so Daciana and Eliana. Yes. How, what would the shit name be? Literally just one of the names. I know, right? You can't. Literally just one of the oh names. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Maybe spelled differently, but it would just Maybe. be their name. Yeah, just the name. But I love Daciana. I love her. Like, when she came into the book, I was like, yes. At first I was a little bit suspicious of her. Why? Just because she came out of nowhere. Well, Which was kind of sad. Yeah, and there's the reason she came out of nowhere is because of all the murders. Well, yeah, we learned. Yeah. And then I was a little bit suspicious of Eliana, too. But once I realized... I was suspicious of her, too. Yeah. But I was like, she she just seems too shy mm -hmm. to be murdering people. Also, is she? I thought for a little bit that she was playing Daciana to get to Thomas. Yeah. Um, because he was so important. Yeah. But the whole, like, uh, um, Anastasia being like, I want to be with Thomas... And I was I like, did not see that coming. I thought I thought Audrey Rose was gonna get shot in that scene. I was like, don't even like, don't shoot her, please. I don't need this. It was I just cried. It was just, I don't know. It's just the action that led up to the climax, and then the climax and all of that falling action was so. It was so intense. It was. <laughs> I loved, I, I just, I love that scene. I reread that whole climax scene and the ending. Like, I reread that. Like, oh. It's just when she got out of the tub, I was not... Oh, when she got out of the tub, I was like, in my head, I could envision that. I was like, horrified, but I was like, this would have made it such a good movie I remember scene. when you texted like, me about it. Oh my god, I love it. I texted you, because you finished it before I did. Yeah, I did. I waited, what, a month for you to finish it Listen, after I did? I was in a slump. It's okay. um, I'm in a slump right now, No, too. but I texted you about it, and I was like... So caught off guard. I, I was because I was yeah. not expecting it at all. I was like, they were just talking about this bathtub of blood, and I was like, that's weird. Why is that there? And in my head, I didn't even think about because, like, I had heard about her ancestor before, um, and it was, it was. I don't think it was mentioned in the book, but like, just through my own research of some stuff I've like I've heard about her, I was like, whoa, that's intense. Like a girl that like this duchess or this like royalty person that like murders their their maids and then like Wait, she was, bathes in their yeah, blood yeah yeah her ancestor did that mm -hmm. and, and she wanted to be like her she was referenced as the female dracula yeah yeah countess dracula yeah countess dracula, Lady dracula. Mm -hmm. it oh was God, i just so and it wasn't a lame it didn't feel like a cop out and it oh wasn't a lame kind of reveal it was really good and just you can see how Anastasia is just kind of unraveling yeah and it was crazy reading it because I was like but this whole time and then it, it, it gets explained yeah how she was like using um cyanide I liked then, the explanation and then murdering lot. them and then draining their blood I, I liked the explanation a lot yeah me too and I was just 
felt like betrayed by that character because I know. I was she was so helping Audrey Rose, but she wasn't helping her. Yeah. And she like went to the house with her and like it seemed like she really, really wanted to find out who it was. Yeah, and that's why I was and then Daciana was like very like, no, you should not be going out into the village at night to look at that apartment. And then um Anastasia's like, let's go, let's do it. I'm here dressed in black, like let's let's go. And she was doing it the whole time just to lead her off of the Yeah. It was good. It was good. I'm really excited for the third one. Me too. I'm really excited for the third one because it's not like a dynamic setting. Like they aren't it's going on a to boat. do it's exactly they're stuck. They're stuck on a boat. Oh wow. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited too. Because <laughs> they can't it's not like they can take a train and leave. I know. Yeah, like, they almost be stuck left on school the boat. Yeah. a few times in the book. But it's not like they can jump off the ship and be like, I don't want to do... Like, they have to yeah, stay. they have to stay and they have to... But, like, I mean, Thomas and her really do, like, kind of looking for murderers. They so do. they're going to be kind of in their element. And they're going to be stuck with each other. I know. They won't be able to escape each other. But her uncle's also going to be on there, too. So it's He's like... He's so he clueless, is, though. He is clueless. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, Thomas and her will be making out in, like, one of their quarters on the boat. Oh, and then, of like, And no one's going to know. Like, Thomas climbed into her window at the school. Oh, my God, I love that scene. She's like, what the hell are you doing? He's like, I said I would rescue you. But I'm like, I love you, Tom. He's the best. Oh, he's, he's the, the best. best. And he's just... There's so, there are scenes... I like how um, Carrie uh, writes the... Um, writes Thomas as he's not like this perfect guy. He's not. Like, he, he has these scenes where he's just like completely clueless. Yeah. And, like you're I and I like how in the first book it started off where Thomas was like that, like he was perfect, and then towards the end that you see that he's not perfect. Yeah. And then this really this book really kind of flushed out his character with like his, the ba his background about his mother and about like he he doesn't have like a formula for love. No. So he doesn't know how to really express that. Mm hmm And I love that. Ugh. Wow. Oh and I like how it's uh, like a Holmes and Watson kind of thing. Yeah. But I, in the first book, I was like, oh, Wadsworth, Watson, but I, they switch roles a lot. They do. They do. Which I like. Mm -hmm. I like how she's not just automatically Watson and yeah. he's automatically Holmes. I like that they switch roles a lot and mm -hmm. she corrects him and... She, like, kind of has a, her own epiphanies, and then he's like, oh, I never thought of that. Exactly. And, oh, and when they saved each other when the water was filling up. Oh, my oh, God. I just remember that part. I was, I was like, Cass, Cass, you're about to die, Cass. And then she just, like, they hung on to that kiss. Well, like, Audrey Rose did kiss Thomas when she, she thought he was dead. She didn't want to give it to us. Yeah. She never, she didn't want to give it to us. Yeah. We didn't get a kiss until, hold on. Hold on. No, but remember that part where Thomas pretends he's dead and then she does kiss him? I don't it's like It's that. not, yeah, it's we not don't like, a, like uh, both of them being into it. It isn't them until they're like in that little, uh, like, little, um, enclave or like that little corner of the ball yeah. at the end of the book. I'm trying to see what page we get. They're in the crypt, blah blah blah. And then it, yeah. There it is. Like, it's literally page 414. Out of. Out of, like, what, 420? Light 400 up. and. 24. 24. Pages. Wait. Yeah, 24. And it's <gasps> the second book, and we just got a kiss. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Didn't want to get it to she us. just didn't. She was just like, I'm gonna make you wait. Well, the third book will be full of them. So they I'm better okay be. If not, I will find you. And the Carrie. tension. It's just their tension. Mm, the sexual tension. <sighs> so beautiful. But there's like so much sexual tension you can take until you're like, just give it to me, please. Until it starts getting annoying and yeah. you're like, this is just not ridiculous. Needs to happen. It needs to happen. And they both know it needs to happen, so just make it happen. Mm hmm. Duh. Duh. <laughs> so in the beginning of this book, it was a little, I felt like it was a little slow, even though like when it they was were on the train, beginning. someone died, it was like, it just, it felt a little slow for things to start really picking up, and I was about to like put the book down for, that's why it took me so long to yeah, get I was about it. to put the book down for a little bit, but right before I said I was gonna, like I thought that I was gonna do that, um, it was in the village, and then they found that body, Wilhelm. and I was like, they, yeah, they found Wilhelm, and I was like, okay, never mind, I gotta keep reading this. Exactly. And I think I read it in two days. 
Once I got into into it, it didn't take me long yeah. to finish it. It was just so But good. it took me like a month to get into it. <laughs> you can ask her, we were buddy reading it. I was just like, what part are you on? She's like, I still haven't read it. I was like, mm -hmm. And it what was it the beginning of this semester? Yeah, it was the beginning of the semester, it was the beginning of the year. And we're just now doing it. And we're just not doing it. I finished it a long yeah. time ago. We're yeah, just we not just, getting around. We just now have the time to like get together and talk about books. Yeah, and the third one comes out in October. When is the next one coming out? September. The fall. All of these books are coming out in May, and I'm just like ready for okay. this book to come out in May too, but it's not. Okay. September 18th. So yeah. September. That's my sister's birthday. <laughs> it's a month before my birthday. It's an early birthday present. And I ordered it. And I, I love the blues and purple of the cover. It's the prettiest cover. Oh, it's it's the, prettiest the prettiest cover. cover. So far. Yeah. I think it'll go this, the first one, the second one. It'll go the third one, the first one, the second one in order of like pretty covers. I okay. I'm really excited for when the mass paper uh, paper back a uh, paperback copy of J uh, Stocking Jack the Ripper comes out because then we get from Thomas's point of view, and I really like, really excited to see a little bit from Thomas's oh, point yes, of view. Oh yes, especially the first book. Yes, just to see why he acted the way he acted. Oh my god. And you have it in paperback, but it's not the. But mass. it's not the mass paperback. Is it gonna? It's gonna be a different cover, yeah. I don't know. I don't think it is. Um, but part of me is like, do I really want to buy a mass paperback, or do I just want to like go online and you find out where it is? I hate pa mass paperbacks. I'm probably gonna buy it, just because. Just so you have it. Just because it's Thomas, it's just it's and I need his story ready yes. at my fingertips whenever I feel mm. like I need some of him, which is always. <laughs> I love him. He's such a good character. He's such a good character, and so is Audrey Rose, and so is like everyone. I am so happy. I love their like chaperone for when they were going to the castle because she was just like drunk the whole time. She added a lot of comedy to the story. Yeah, there was, and that comedy. was nice. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a slow start. Mm -hmm. yeah. But once it picked up, it like went. Yeah, it like ran. And it didn't feel like 400 pages. It didn't. It was so good. It felt like 200. Because it was good. Yeah. It was so good. Part of me is a little sad that they didn't get into the Academy. But then I'm like, but then we wouldn't have the third book. We wouldn't have the third book. And I didn't so, think they yeah. would. Yeah, part of me was like, they're not going to get in. Because what else? If she's coming out with a third book, yeah. there's nothing left for them to do at the Academy. Why? Yeah. They're either going to get in and like say no, or they're not going to get in. Yeah. So, I'm glad they didn't. Because now we have them stuck on a boat together. <laughs> oh, it's so good! In yeah. the middle of the ocean. On their way to New York. That's gonna be a great book. Oh, there has to be a fourth book now good. because they're gonna be in New York. Yeah, there's gonna be a fourth book. What kind of. I wonder what kind of mystery they would do in New York. I don't know. I mean, was there a, like a, a oh, serial sure. killer in New York going oh, well, on? I'm sure there was. So. Five out of five. Five out of five stars. That is our review for Hunting, right? Yeah, Hunting Prince Dracula. I almost said Stocky Jack the That one too, also five out of five. That's also oh. great. Okay. So if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to comment down below a question or what you thought of the book or something like that. Um, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell as well because apparently that's an important thing to do now. Yes. Yeah. Otherwise you won't show up in their subscription box. I know, which is stupid. I in my YouTube channel. Oh box. my gosh. Anyway, um, so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I post mostly on Tuesdays and Fridays. I, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.